Hi everyone, I haven't made a video in a while, but I just wanted to come on and say that I made a script. It's available on Gumroad for a name your own price, and I did this because it may or may not have some bugs, but I've been testing it for about a week and I haven't had any issues yet, fingers crossed. So um, basically what it does is it does a batch edit within After Effects based on a CSV file. So I'm going to show you very briefly um, what it looks like in action with a real life scenario. So full disclosure, I work for Sacred Heart University. Um, and so this is an actual project that I'm showing you. The player data I got is from the athletics website. So this is all real info that's just available online. So I made these little uh, playing card graphics within After Effects. Um, you can see it has a ton of different layers. And then this is what my CSV file looks like. So you can see it has some of the data for my players. I can have more columns in here with like stats and everything like that, but I didn't need that for this project. But just know that um, if you have more columns or more rows, this script will still work. So then looking back at my After Effects file, you can see my text layer names match my CSV headers. So before getting into the nitty gritty, I'm just gonna run the script and show you how it works. So first it asked me where my CSV file is located. So I copy and paste the location as well as add the name of my CSV file. So you don't actually have to import the um, CSV into your After Effects file, which is pretty cool. So this also assumes that your comp has um, a photo. So if you have photos, have them imported into After Effects into their own folder, and then write the name of that folder here. So I'm gonna do that now. And then once I'm done, um, the script will run. And um, there's a little random pop-up, but I just delete it and then it makes an empty comp, so I just delete that too. Out of everything, I figured I could just live with this, so, you know, that's just, I guess, one of the glitches. Um, so I just delete it really quickly, but then you can see now, from my template that I made, all of these players uh, now have their own cards with the data from my CSV file. And just to show you another example, um, here's another card, totally different style, obviously, and you can see it runs just fine. So now uh, let me tell you some of the details on how to properly use this script because there's a few things to be conscious of. So first your CSV file needs to have a name column. So the script uses name to rename the duplicated comps. So um, you just need to be conscious of having a name column in your CSV file. Next, um, if you're using photos in your comp, the header needs to be photo. Not photos, not player photos, not whatever. It has to be photo. But um, you don't need to have a photo in your comp for this to work. So if you're using a photo, you need to have a placeholder photo in your template comp, and it needs to be named placeholder.jpg. No caps, no spaces. So um, you can see I made this little mascot as my placeholder. Um, it's the same width and height as all my other photos. Everything looks exactly the same in width and height. If you don't have a photo for your comp though, that's okay. The script automatically assumes you have a photo though. So it asks where to look for the photos to replace the placeholder with. If you do have a photos column, I would just suggest just giving it the name of the folder with all of your photos in it in After Effects. And this is just gonna help you avoid some of like the pop-ups that might come up. But if you don't have a photo in your comp at all and you don't have a photos column, um, then just give it the name of a random subfolder, like just make an empty folder and give it that name. Um, that way you, again, you'll just avoid some of the error messages that you might, that might pop up. So make sure that in your template comp, the text layers that need to be replaced are the same names as your headers in your CSV file. So like in one template, I might have player name, but in my CSV comp, it just says name. So just need to replace player name with the word name, and then my script will be able to read it. I also want to put a little tip out there as well. So before you run your script, put the template comp in its own subfolder because the comps will automatically be generated in the same place as the template. So make sure that it's just tucked away so it doesn't get disorganized. So I'm really excited to be releasing this on Gumroad. Once again, it's a name your own price, but I would just really appreciate anything that you would be willing to give. 
I am also going to be releasing a more in-depth tutorial on using this from start to finish, including how I designed some of these cards and then how I use these in my main project. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.